Now moving on to some thoughts from a Chinese blogger. And today our blogger is Wang Chuan Tao from Sina.com. And he's concerned about a recent announcement from the Ministry of Education calling for mandatory military training for all college students for a period of no less than 14 days. Previously, colleges could decide for themselves whether or not to institute compulsory military training. Uh, and is one method school administrators like to use to teach discipline and determination. Proponents of the new measure say it promotes physical exercise and patriotism. Opponents, however, note that college is a place for study and research, and PE courses can take the place of the very physical military training. Such training in college has become a hot issue, and our blogger seems to bring a new point of view to the discussion. Here's what he has to say. From my perspective, policymakers should take public opinion into consideration before any policy goes public. Can students, parents, and teachers accept this policy? The Ministry of Education should at least take a survey first. In addition, most students are young adults over 18 years old and have the desire to express their individual personality in their college lives. Military training may deprive them of their personal character. A 14-day military course seems a little bit unreasonable. Furthermore, every year many students are reported to have lost their lives during the training. Although those are just individual cases, we can see that this one-size-fits-all action is not helpful to everyone. We have several kinds of universities. For instance, there are far more boys enrolled at science and engineering universities, and the proportion of girls at teacher training and art schools will be much higher than at others. So it is obvious that policymakers should tailor different military training policies aimed to different student groups. I suggest that military training should be changed to an optional course, and those students who prefer not to take part ought to have the right to do so. Now we've chosen a couple comments uh, after the blog here, and this first one apparently agrees with the blogger. I hated military training when I was a student. It is absolutely useless for us, and we didn't change anything after it was over. Now for our second comment, we have someone who disagrees with the blogger's opinion. Military training plays an important part in national defense education. Everybody should attend whether you like it or not. And finally, our third comment has this idea. In my opinion, many of them can develop friendships with strangers during the training. The military training is an effective way for students to improve their team cohesiveness. Now that wraps up our China blog for today, and next up we go to the street to hear about locals and what they have to say about fireworks and festivities.